hello everyone welcome back to the channel today's tutorial is going to be about chess game that was built with react chess and also chess js if you really found this to be useful and interesting help me out by subscribing to the channel and also like the video as well you can also share as well so with that said let's jump right in so i just started creating my react app in here the command is mps create react app and you proceed to give the name of the app so in here i name it as chess game in here so it will start installing some React, React DOM, React script, and some dependencies as well. So now that we have a successful installation, let's change the directory to the chess game and also open that in VS Code. So within our source folder, let's clean up some files in here. Let's remove the app test.js and also the logo.svg, the report web vitals, and also the setup test as well. So let's open our app.js file and get rid of the logo import in here and also the default code within the app function. Let's all remove that one. So let's return the div for now with some tests in there it's going to be chess game okay so let's visit the index.js file and also get rid of the function report vitals and some comments in here and also let's get rid of the import in here and also the react street mode and only render the app component so let's also get rid of the default stylings within the app.css so let's do that so let's open our app.js file so let's open the terminal and start installing our dependencies so in here we need the react chess board and also the chess js so let's install that dependencies so the react chess board basically a react component that provides the chess board functionality and a chess is the logic that controls the board how interesting is that so let's into let's install these dependencies so now that we have a successful installation when we check the package.json file we have our dependencies being added So let's import the chessboard from the React chessboard library. So within that function, we just return the chessboard component as a self closing tag. Yeah, self closing component. So I've already started my app. So when we check the browser, you can see we have our chessboard. For now, we have the functionality moving the pieces but we've not yet done the logic so let's move it to, let's move to that aspect with the logic so let's return to our app so within the app.js let's first of all wrap the chessboard within a div and give some styling to it so let's give it a class name and the class name is going to be app so when we move to our app.css file let's first of all target everything by setting the margin to zero and also the padding to zero and also give it a box sizing of border box we then take our app and display flex and also align items at the center and just file content to be at the center let's check it out you can see it is at the middle of the web browser and also we need to give some margin to it so let's set some margin and that's going to be 1.5 rem there we go it's looking much good so within the app.js file we need to import the chest from the chest.js and also we need to import the use state 
from Riyadh. So we have our E state, the current state is game and the function set game. We are going to create an instance of the chairs that's going to be new chairs. Uh, so for now, when you try to log out the game, you can see the different methods being on the game. We can we can write within our code. So let's check from the browser and inspect and move to the console. When we move to the console, we have an object. You can see the different methods on this. So we'll be using this throughout our code. So let's return back to our app.js. So let's get rid of the console log and also. So here, let's perform a function on the game state. So we are going to create a function in here and it's going to be save game mutate. And this function is going to take in a parameter as modify and also within that function use the set game with a callback function which also has a parameter so within the set game you create a variable update and spread out the parameter g so in here you modify our update and return the update as well so that's basically the function to perform the game state so let's also create a function for computer movement so I'm gonna create a function in here and it's going to be named as make random movement so within that function we create a variable known as the possible moves we are going to assess our game state which has a move method on it so when you check the console you can see this move we are trying to assess there we go so within the make move function we, know, we also need to check for the game over so if the game is over or the game is draw or the possible move dot length is to go to zero then we are going to return else we create a variable random index and use the mod flow to make some random numbers so let's actually play the random move so in here we take the game state which has a move method on it and pass in our possible move with our random index so it can change randomly we also need to perform an action when a piece is dropped by a user so i'll create a function here and i'm going to name that function as undropped which are two parameters the source and also the target so within that function i'll create a variable move initially assign a null to it and also call our function save game mutate with a game as a call back function so within that we'll take the move variable and also take our game state with the move method on it which is going to return an object within that so you need to assess the source so from then you pass in our source parameter with its com comma and also to our target and also some promotion in here with our kill that Also in here let's check for illegal move so if move is equal to now we are going to return false and let's check for valid moving here 
so with the valid move we, we just set timeout function and call our function make random move every 200 milliseconds yeah and return true so let's come to our chessboard component it takes in a prop of position so we're going to assess the game which has a fan function on it and also whenever the piece is dropped by a user so we use on piece drop and call our function on drop i think that's pretty much it okay checking if the game over is game is over we need to it's a method so we need to wrap it with parentheses there you go let's save the changes and try it out there you go if you find this to be useful and interesting consider subscribing by hitting the bell icon and also like the video as well you can also share as well see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned